Hey guys, Garland Holmes, assistant manager here at Greg Nuts Wine. We're back for another virtual tasting. This is our July Wines of the Month edition 2020. Tonight we have two French wines, two very unique French wines. One, a rosé from southern France, and the other, a red from southern France. They're both very interesting. I can't wait to get into them with you. We're going to start the PowerPoint now so you guys can follow along and see what's going on. A little more detailed information. Okay, so July Wines of the Month Zoom tasting. Tonight we're going to start with the rosé. The rosé is 100% Gamay from Domaine de Berrioles, which is located in saint Porson. You see on the right side of your screen there, you'll notice a little arrow pointed in between the words Burgundy and Beaujolais. And that's about approximately where saint Porson is. It's considered a satellite region of the Loire, although the Loire technically ends um, maybe 50, 60, 75 miles north of saint Porson. It turns into a different river. But anyways, the French are complicated and they wouldn't have it any other way. So saint Porson is in Auvergne, the overall region in France. It was granted AOC status in 2009. It's considered a satellite region of the Loire, like I mentioned. It's known mostly for white varietals, Trisalier in particular. There's not a lot of Trisalier grown in the world. I want to say less than 30 hectares total of this particular white varietal is grown throughout the world, and the majority of it is in saint Porson. The red varietals are Gamay and Pinot Noir. And Gamay is the rosé varietal that we have this evening. So Domaine de Barrioles. It's one of only 17 independent vignerons in the saint Porson AOP. So a vigneron is just a wine maker. So that means that there are probably plenty of people growing grapes and selling grapes, just like any farmer would sell crops anywhere in the world. But there are 17 independent winemakers making wine and owning vineyards in saint Porson. Jean Tessedra is the owner and winemaker. It's actually Jean and his sister and her husband that are the heads of the operation, with Jean mainly being in the vineyard, um, his sister running the show from the book's perspective, and then her husband being kind of the guy behind the scenes making the wine inside the winery itself. Um, Jean's parents were great growers, but not winemakers. So they were the ones, they were cooperateurs. They were growing grapes, selling grapes in the region, owned property, but did not make the wine themselves. So in 2011, after studying in France, he studied um, both in Burgundy and in Beaujolais, which is where he learned you know, how to utilize Gamay, which is grown in Beaujolais throughout the region. It's famous for being from Beaujolais. Um, so he comes back uh, in 2011, bought, the contract ended in 2010 with his parents. And so he, in 2011, he bought his own cellar, built his own cellar, and an additional four hectares of land, and the first bottling at Domaine de Barriolis ensued thereafter. So let's talk about the wine. The Barriolis Rosé, I have a glass here for those at home tasting along. It's 100% Gamay, as we mentioned. It's all de-stemmed fruit with indigenous yeast fermentation and is filtered and fined. Uh, this is a completely organic, as certified in 2019 actually, 100% stainless steel fermentation for three months, certified organic. Color is clear, pale salmon, pink in color. These are notes that I came up with maybe about an hour ago. You get aromas of red cherries and raspberries. It smells wonderful. You guys wanna give it a try at home too. On the palate, it is dry, it is mineral driven, medium acidity, low tannin. Gamay is known for not being a very tannic wine in general, or a tannic grape, excuse me, and medium plus alcohol. We're at 13.5% here. It's light in body, flavors of strawberries, red currants, and rhubarb. And for food pairings, 
any kind of light fare, anything off the grill, anything with char on it is going to be delicious. And you can see it for yourself down there at the bottom. A unique rosé that pairs well. It's delicious. Outstanding. Cheers, guys. Okay, so now we're moving on to the red wine this evening, the Chateau Bouscasse Grand Vin de Mataran. You'll notice here on the PowerPoint, it's, if you look in the middle of the screen, you'll see overall, you can see where Paris and Toulouse down in the southern portion of France are. And the little highlighted region is where we are this evening tasting the Mataran. Mataran AOC is located in the southwestern corner of France. It almost butts against the northeastern portion of Spain at the base of the Pyrenees. Mataran is known for Tanat. It's, Tanat is a dark, very tannic grape with outstanding ageability potential. It's mostly a blending grape. You won't see a ton of 100% Tanat. But it is a Bordeaux varietal, and they use it to blend in Bordeaux, and that's where it was made famous originally. Other varietals in Mataran include Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc, and Pinanc, aka Fur, for those who have had it before. Mataran wines rival those in Bordeaux for both quality and the ability to sell her for a very long time, this bottle being no exception. This is a 2014, that's current vintage in the market right now, and Boy, oh boy, it could sit down for quite a while. You'll notice there on the right, the map overall sh showing you the arrow pointing towards the yellow area that is the Mataran area overall or uh, where it's located. You can actually see on the left side of your screen Chateau Montu. That's the brother or sister vineyard to Chateau Boscasse. Uh, and as you'll find out, owned by the same family, the Brumont family. So we're located in the Montmousson Laguan village in the heart of southwest France. Southwest France, sorry. Bouscousse is the family estate and birthplace of Alain Brumont. Alain Brumont is the winemaker and it's been a family owned and operated business since the mid 19th century. The terroir in Mataran covers over 50 hectares of clay and limestone soil and it's all along a cliff, the cliff being at the base of the Pyrenees. Bouscasse is the brother to Chateau Montus, considered to be the left bank premier Mataran producer, and is also owned by the Brumont family. And like I said, family owned and operated since the mid 19th century. So let's move on to the wine. The Bouscasse is 50% Tanat, 20%, 26% Cab Sav, and 24% Cab Franc. I've got a glass here for those joining along at home. Cheers. Alain Brumont's winemaker, Fabrice Dubosc, has a storied history. He's previously worked for two really tiny little producers that nobody's ever heard of, Chateau Margot and Gouy Gall. Margot being obviously a premier uh, Bordeaux producer and Gouy Gall being in the Rhone. So the iron-rich clay soil in Western Mataran helps form the body and breadth that is this red wine, and it comes out through all three of those grapes, to not especially. So it's aged 30 to 50 percent new French oak for two to three years. So you're going to see a fair amount of the wine being aged in new French oak barrels, a fair amount of the wine being aged in, new, in used French oak barrels, and then all that uh, wine is blended together. It's bright purple with crimson hues. I would agree with that. Notes of fresh floral bouquet with violets. Yep, absolutely. On the palate, amazingly balanced. This is a young wine for sure, but it's something that can be enjoyed now if decanted or can be put down for a very long time if need be. It's a great wine to give as like a gift for somebody that maybe they just were born or christened or baptized or whatever it might be. They have a, a one year birthday and they're just a little toddler and you wanna give them something they can open when they turn 21, this is, this is a great option. 
Age for decades if desired or drink now if you can it. That's pretty concise and to the point. I would agree with both of those. So thanks guys for joining us. I hope everybody enjoyed learning about a couple of two really unique French wines that we have here in the store. The Rosé, the Domaine de Barriolis 100% Gamay Rosé is $23.99 and is available through the end of July and probably onward. It's so delicious. We'll keep it on the shelf for a while. And the Bouscasse, it's not going anywhere. It's our wine of the month for July 2020, but we're going to hang on to some of these and see if we can at least personally age some of them and see how they turn out. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining us. This is another edition of our Wines of the Month series for July 2020. And cheers.